In this video, I'm going to tell you about how sometimes done is better. So it is Friday, uh, April 12th, 2024, as I am talking to you here. Um, I'm here in the studio. This is where I normally film my videos every single week, talking about wargaming stuff and this and that and the other thing. And if you've been watching recently, you know that the place is currently under construction. They're replacing the windows, and so they've had to board everything up, caution tape, you know, for caution. And uh, it's just one of those things that you kind of have to kind of roll with the punches on sometimes. It's the type of thing that frankly makes me unhappy. I like to always try to make my videos very well done. You know, I've been doing it that way for years. I've had people say, oh, you know, the lighting is really good or this audio is really good and all that kind of stuff. And I'm using this little kind of gimbal camera that's sort of following me around. It's pretty good at it, honestly. And I got this little DJI wireless mic thing that's attached to it, like all the cool kids that you see these days. I'm not holding it in front of me, though, because I'm too old. Um, but I thought about, like, trying to get this video done. Like I said, it's Friday the 12th. You'll see this video on whatever, I don't know, the 19th or whatever is when it'll go live, and I will just have gotten back from Denmark. So why are you going to Denmark, Uncle Adam? Well, I'm going to Denmark to visit the Army Painter. Uh, I'm part of the Army Painter factory team, which I've mentioned. It's me, it's uh, Sam Lenz, it's uh, Eric Locke from Eric's Hobby Workshop, and it's Phil Hall from, you know, the Glacial Geek. And so we've been going to shows, we were just at Adepticon, now we're going to the HQ uh, in Denmark to learn about how the paint's made, uh, to film a bunch of stuff. And I was like, okay, so I need to get a video done for that. Uh, you know, because I'll come back literally the day before th this video goes live. I'll come back like on the 18th or whatever. It's a whole thing. So I'm just planning ahead and realizing that yesterday I spent all day working on the video for that went live today, the 12th, which was about how it's getting harder to be able to play in stores and things like that, which if you haven't seen that video, but ciao, you should check that out. But my thought was I got to stream this morning, answer a bunch of comments and all that normal stuff that I do on Fridays, plus... I then also had a meeting, plus I then need to make another video, plus the studio's all torn apart and everything still, plus I still have to pack. So it came down to a situation where I was kind of getting some anxiety, and you might get anxiety like this in your hobby. So why do you get anxiety in your hobby, you think? I think that if you get anxiety in your hobby, like you're just trying to get this to be done, and you just want to make it the best it can be, and that kind of stuff, Generally, the anxiety comes because you care so much. It becomes a thing where this means so much to you. If you didn't care that much about it, you wouldn't probably feel anxious about not hitting your goals, not being as good of a painter as you wanted, that kind of thing. And that's something that a lot of people have. It's something that I have. When a video... There have been times I've had to go back and reshoot videos because of a thing that I noticed in the video that probably none of you would have noticed, right? Something like, oh, there was like a light went out because the battery died, or some other little thing, or, you know, the audio didn't work right and stuff like that. And sometimes you just run out of the ability to do anything about it. And that makes sometimes the anxiety a little bit worse. I made a video a long time ago where the entire video portion of me was out of focus and I did not have time to refilm, so I just had to run with it. And I put a thing in the beginning and said, hey, you know, this video is out of focus. I'm sorry, I ran out of time and the whole deal. And a lot of people in the comments are like, hey man, this video is out of focus. And I'm like, yeah, I know, I know. And that really helps with the, uh, the problems in that situation. This studio being kind of pulled all apart, this doesn't help things much at all. And trying to get videos done quickly is just, you know, on a deadline when I got to get on an international flight tomorrow morning. That's also sometimes part of an issue for me as well. A long time ago, I also made another video called The Price of Perfection is Prohibitive. Uh, again, if you want to check that one out, uh, pachow. That was a piece of paper that I found in the house where my wife and I moved into. We uh, bought this house from her grandparents, and her grandfather was into calligraphy, and he had written this 
kind of sign with this line on it. The price of uh, perfection is prohibitive. And uh, it's up above the doorway into my weird little airbrushing room underneath the stairs, my little Harry Potter room, if you've heard that referred to before. It's not like I'm a big fan of Harry Potter or anything. I don't have Harry Potter memorabilia in there. It's just I understand that he lived under the stairs. So anyway, my point is, is that piece of paper is still there to this day because it reminds me of things like when I get into this situation here where I'm filming in mostly an empty studio uh, and I don't really have let's say, the tightest of possible scripts, since it's, you know, kind of coming to me as I go. And these things are things that we have to, as hobbyists, also kind of take into consideration sometimes. If you are painting to win an award, a uh, capital palette, um, you know, Golden Demon, like all kinds of different things like that, then if you expect to do the best you possibly can, you need to work as hard as possible and things like this and things like running out of time don't matter. You won't win. Nobody cares. That's the way the judging works. But when you are talking about painting models to take to a game day over a friend's house or just have done because you want to work on this new kit or anything like those things, sometimes just getting it done, even if it's not as good as you'd like or maybe the colors aren't quite right, getting it done is generally better. That's what I'm doing in this video, basically, is getting it done so that I have enough time to edit tonight, I still have enough time to pack, get some sleep, get up early, and then, you know, go to a completely different country. Getting a video done, just like getting your models done, getting an army done, a, a squad, a warband, a piece of terrain, is better than sitting and being uh, kind of anxiety-ridden and never getting anything done. The, the anxiety, like I said, comes from caring too much, to some degree. There's also chemical anxiety and clinical anxiety, and I'm not a doctor, nor am I an uncle. But there's definitely something about caring about this thing so much and then being concerned you didn't do it right. And because it's a hobby, because they are literally toy soldiers, you have to understand that sometimes you're just not going to do your best possible job. Sometimes, even though this is my job, I'm not going to be able to do as good of a job as I want, but I hope that I can give you folks the information that you, you know, can take away from to sort of change your hobby life for the better, even when, uh, you know, the technicalities and such, the audio, the lighting, the entirety of this entire place right now, it, you know, is not where I want it to be. So this isn't obviously exactly what I wanted to be doing with this video. My goal, of course, is always to try to make a good video that you can get information from. But sometimes the lighting's not so great. Sometimes the studio is problematic and there's no windows. Sometimes there's a lot of road noise, which I think even when these new windows come in, we're still gonna have that. So the thing that's important is to get it done and not completely miss my internal deadline where I want to get a video out every single Friday to you folks so you can take this information, whether it looks really, really good with great audio or whether it looks like this looks right now, you can take this information and make your hobby life better. So I hope that this short little stopgap of a video um, at least helps spark something in your hobby. It makes you look at the projects that you have around you, the pile of shame, as some may say, things that are half started, half finished, and you take those things and understand getting it done is better because it gets it into the next stage. And you can always come back and work on it again if you really want to, but no movement is not good for your hobby. So understand that sometimes you're not going to be able to get things exactly the way that you want and let that go. Even though you still care, and it's good that you care, kind of let that go and, uh, you know, get your, your, your project done, get your video done, and then um, move on to the next one. So I'll see you folks um, next week. I'll have um, probably some cool footage to bring back from Denmark, that kind of stuff, and uh, that'll be a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy that. If you like this video, such as it is, the thumbs up button would be awesome. I appreciate that. It helps the channel. It helps get things out there. Um, if you thought that the quality of this video wasn't terrible, let me know. I appreciate that as well. We'll see how it goes. I haven't obviously heard it or anything or even started to edit yet because I'm just filming it now. That's the way these things work. 
Um, what else do I got? I don't know. Subscribe if you want to see more, especially if you want to see the stuff coming from Denmark. That'd be great too. My hands are massive. Look at that. What's going on? Uh, and lastly, thanks for watching.